First, I would love your calls on what I've been told is called topery. Is it tasteful or tacky? 0207 862 is the number. Tell us what you think. So this is the gardening trend that goes back as almost as, as, as early as bushes themselves. Back to the 16th century is now experiencing a renaissance as more of us get green fingered in lockdown, but with many opting for more unconventional looks like this dog hedge, that is a dog, a dachshund in East London, you might think topery is tacky. But are you one of those people, Louise? Do you like to do it? So my husband does like a box hedge. And we have to be said, we don't have a, a dog or a car. We have fairly basic topery, but we have box hedge shaped into spheres and into cones. So, yeah, my husband is one of them that does like a bit of shearing of his bushes. So, yes, so he, is, <laughs> he is a box hedge. And, he's been, and, I, and for all your topiary experts out there, it's been quite upsetting because we've had box hedge blight a fungal infection that's gone through the southeast of England. And my husband spent a good few years battling box hedge blight. Monty Don, the gardener, gave up with his box hedge blight and had to pull all his box hedges out. So it's been very sad for those who do like a bit of topiary. Yes, and I, a neighbour opposite was talking about this and she showed me her, her hedge up close. <laughs> Up close, <laughs> and said that that's what it's been, it was basically it was torn, <laughs> torn, <laughs> torn to shreds. <laughs> Kevin, what about you? What you about you? I feel I've stumbled into a carry-on film with lots of double entendres uh, here. Uh, yeah. I've played a lot of Scrabble, and Capri is a it's a seven-letter word worth twelve points because you get uh, a. a I think it's three for the P and four for the Y, and you'd get 50 uh, bonus points, so 62 in all for using all your letters. Uh, look, I'm a terrible, terrible gardener, uh, and I've, uh, I've killed many, uh, many, uh, I'll call them trees. Uh, but I do love seeing other people's topiary. There's a, a bus I get, and you go on the top deck, you go past the house, and somebody's got an elephant. And it is just absolutely fantastic, you know, with the ears, the legs, the trunk, the tail. It's, it's brilliant. But I, I think, wow. How long does it uh, take you to do that? You never know. You might have stumbled on uh, a kind of Great British Bake Off style competition on TV. You know, give everybody a hedge and pair of shears, some second turns, and see what they can uh, what they can produce. It's a very good point. Well, look, I've done that very thing. Uh, we're joined by gardener Paul Davis, who's the topiary expert from a garden in Suffolk, which has got you've got a couple of hedges that before and after there, have you, Paul? Yes. Good morning, Jeremy. Thanks for having me on. Yes, so we're going to try to get you to uh, see if you can do a bit of topiary this morning on a uh, pyramid, and hopefully we'll turn it into something like this one. And the, the one I so the, the the plant I've got here is you could call it a pyramid. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Pyramid. This is box. This is Buckler Sempervirin. So this is what you'll buy in your garden centre. I went in yesterday and we picked these up from a friend of mine, Will. So, uh, yeah, so this is what you're going to do, and uh, we're going to show you how to do it. Fantastic. Now, luckily, I have a piece of string, and I, I can see why I'm going to need that. You've done. What do I do with this string? So, at the top of your string, you're going to tie on to the top of the plant. Can you yes. see that? So, tie a knot on the top. Yep, got it. And then you start coming around as if you're going to make a spiral, like this one here, yeah? So, you I bring see. it around the plant. Yeah, yeah. So keep bringing it around. Keep keep bringing it around till you get near the bottom. <laughs> Nicely done. Yes, All yes. right, guys. Good. That's how you Very do good. it. Done and it. And you tie it on and tie it on at the bottom so it doesn't come off. Tie it at the bottom. That's awkward. Okay. So you just find a little branch. Oh, I see. I got you. Yeah, and just pull that tight. Yeah. Okay. Good. Got it. And, uh, and have you got the shears? That I I've I got told the shears. I've got two types of shears. I've got a. Uh, yeah. I don't, I'll be a bit technical here. I've got some grey ones and some black ones, which I'm going to use the grey ones. They just look a bit more whew, impressive. Yeah, so these ones here. Oh, really you've got the... OK, lovely. Oh, oh you're going to... No, you don't want to go for the big stuff, Jeremy. OK, early, sorry. I'll stuff. use the small ones. All right. Go for the small ones. So what you want to do yeah. is where you see the string going round, yes. you need to cut just under the string line. So it will take it from the middle because it might be easier. And yeah. just clip into the block. Okay. And follow the strength. Keep moving the plant round. Yeah. You're and doing that. So I'm still going. on the first one here. Oh, okay. Hang on. I've got this one. isn't cutting very well. Wait a second. I've got a I've got a very thick. Ah, oh, that's thing. it. Okay. That's it. That's it. So you, if you was doing this at home, you could use some second tears. Oh, God. Yeah. Something on blew the hard my branches, eye. Use, 
You use the second tiers, Jeremy, on, with the hard branches, yeah? Yeah, yeah. But I've carry on, so you just keep going. So keep going. I want you to keep going round and round. I'm moving the plant. Yeah. Doing what you're doing. Move the plant, not move yourself. That's the mistake yeah, I made at the start. Yeah, move the plant. Right. Follow it down. And Don't you can get cut a the string. Bit in there. Yeah. Don't cut the string. That's criminal. Okay. So just keep following. Loving this. This is so satisfying. Yeah. I'm right down to the bottom yeah. now, Paul. Okay. So we go back to the top and we start again. And we Hang keep on. cutting inside. Something's gone wrong. What are you doing, Jeremy? No, it's just, I, I don't think these are very good shears, actually. Okay, I'm going to give them a bad review to them. Okay, well, okay. God, well, is... if you must get sharp. Yeah, um, these are, these sharp are ones all good. Yeah. These have been in the ITM so keep... cupboard for years. <laughs> I mean, honestly, there's have. nothing going on with them. Right. Okay, so you just keep cutting and cutting and yeah, cutting. Yeah, got it. I'm on a roll now. Uh, you're on a roll. So let's keep going inside. Let's keep going. Keep cutting. The string's Pour gone. it around. Yeah. The string's gone. Now you could be in trouble. But I've, okay. I've caught up with where I started now, Paul. Okay, so you just go in more now. So oh, go in more. Okay, all right. I yeah. thought we were done. Keep cutting. No, no. This is the start, Jeremy. Uh, right, the string's got loose now. Okay, so you can take the string off now and just cut around where you've started. I see. I see what you're doing oh, now. I, it's starting to take shape. I really think this is okay, starting yes. to look like a bit of a, a piece. Well, yes. it's, you're definitely uh, making it look, look harder than I expected. Well, you say that, yeah. Storm, but to be honest, when you're doing things at a high level... <laughs> I, <laughs> I, it's lucky you're not. On, it's lucky you're not on the twenty foot Dutch hand. Look in London. There you go. See, you're free from the string now. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it really going, is. I, I understand. No, you can see it. You can see it's working, Jeremy. I understand the logic. I understand what the string was there for because that was the bit that puzzled me. Yeah. Um, so that's what it was there for. So everyone at home can do that. Lovely. Well, that's good. And and look, what do you think, Paul, about that? We've... I think you're getting there, Jeremy. I mean, that I think to me, find an... that's the sort of plant you'd stop for if you were walking down the street. <laughs> yeah. Take photos. 100%, Jeremy. 100%. So how long have you been doing that? 30 years. No, I just mean that particular bush. <laughs> 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 well, I've done this one. Uh, it's about 15 minutes. Took me to do wow, this you're so fast. Yeah. What, the, the question I always wonder, Paul, is what happens when you go wrong? Because it's not like a... An iPad, you just press erase. Mistakes are irreversible. They are. <laughs> they are irreversible. But if you make a little mistake and you accidentally cut your, uh, the wrong branch off, it will grow back. As long as you don't cut the main stem off in half, you'll be all okay. Storm, are you tempted by this? I am a little bit tempted. You, uh, it looks like quite a satisfying thing to do. And really it seems is. like some people online are tempted as well. Murray here has been in contact saying... I'm going to hedge my bets and say it's personal choice. Uh, Maisie here says, after lockdown, I'm keen to know how to trim my bush. And Angela here <laughs> says, in the right place, it's fabulous. And I think that's probably true. Well, listen, I'm, I'm happy to help if anyone needs any, any advice uh, on, on it. Paul, thank you. What a lovely day's work you've got ahead of you. Um, after yeah, the break, thank you very much. It's so, so nice to see you. The string was crucial. Got it. After the break, it's our stories of the day. We will see you very shortly, and I'll just keep going with this for a few seconds more and get it perfect for you. 